everyone, I'm Ashakti Kemen and welcome back on another episode on another video. I also always survive like to support my channel today. I am going to show you a game where as the title says I and as the thumbnail as you have seen from the thumbnail I did a quadruple fork which by the way it's so funny the computer even uh, deems it an inaccuracy <laughs> but yeah um, pretty straightforward game except for these two things <laughs> but yeah I was pretty much always winning but yeah great game 67.5% uh, accuracy I played like an 800 not too bad not too shabby but without further, further ado, let's start. D4, D5, D, C4, E5. Actually, I was about to say E6, you know the drill. You know the drill. So, the Queen's Gambit, Queen's Gambit decline, kind. But he actually plays the Albin Counter Gambit. I play E3. He goes bishop d4 check, bishop d2, uh, knight c6, takes, takes. Now uh, I go knight c3, takes, takes, bishop e6, takes, takes, knight f3, e4, knight takes a4, yeah, he just hangs upon. But yeah, by the way, these uh, peaks. I could have just gone, uh, yeah, uh, queen a4 check, but can't he have gone here, like, can't he, have, couldn't he block with a knight, like, the knight was hanging, but it blocks the check, I, I don't know, I, I don't know why he couldn't do that, but yeah, uh, but he still loses pawn, e4, uh, knight takes e4, knight f6, takes, takes, castles, and long castles. And now I said, oh, alright, opposite side castling, uh, okay, it's, it's war. Now it's war. So, a3, the knight actually becomes a trampoline for the attack. Because I go e3, a3, and b4. So, like, it goes da -dun! It's like a trampoline, it's a target, the knight. He goes knight e7, I go rook c1, he goes g5, see? Uh, the opposite side castling, both throwing pawns at each other. I go queen c2. Threatening mate, he goes c6, I go b5, he goes g4, I go knight e5, because like I knew it was a it was going to be a battle, so uh, rook d6 takes takes I go queen a4 trying to infiltrate here he goes queen h6 I, inf I do infiltrate here, here, and now the moment you have been waiting for this whole video, uh, which is four minutes. <laughs> uh, the moment, uh, the climax of the um, of the video has built up to this moment. Knight f7 check. Which I love how the computer actually deems it uh, um, an inaccuracy. You should have gone rook b1. That was uh, so clear. But yeah, quadruple royal fork. Because royal fork, because uh, I forked the king, the queen, and the two rooks. A royal fork is like the king and the queen or king, queen and rook. Now I fork the king, the queen and the two rooks. So yeah, <laughs> just, 
quadruple fork and yeah uh, knight f7 check and uh, hero science <laughs> obviously like <laughs> I, hon I honestly would uh, resign too after <laughs> after this quadruple fork maybe I would let the the my opponent uh, actually take the piece the queen and then I would resign but yeah this is uh, just magnificent <laughs> and uh, yeah obviously it's magnificent when I do it and uh, not when it's done to me <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one bye guys